Hey everyone, so I have another unboxing video for you all today. This is part two. Part one, I'll include a link of that in the description down below. But just so you know, this box will probably be filled with a lot of vintage science fiction and fantasy books that my father-in-law had in storage for the past 30 or so years. So I thought I might as well unbox this on video and see what we have. Let's dive in. Okay, and the first book we have is Double Exposure by Pierre Anthony. Looks pretty interesting. Never heard of this author, never heard of this book, but looks pretty cool. And next we have The Lost Swords, The Second Triad by Fred Saberhagen, Saberhagen. I don't know how to pronounce that last name. Not a book I've ever heard of, not an author I've ever heard of either, but might be interesting. Check it out. Okay, then we have Berserker Base by a ton of authors. <laughs> I don't know, is this like a collection of short stories maybe? Huh. Not sure, it looks like some science fiction though, so might be interesting to check out. Okay, then next we have, oh, another Fred Saberhagen, Saberhagen. This is an Armory of Swords. Okay. Cool. What is this? Scott Adams, The Dilbert Future. Okay, so Scott Albums is the creator of the Dilbert comic series. I know that. Uh, not sure what this book is about, though, but might want to check that out. Interesting. Okay, and next we have The Annals of the Time Patrol by Paul Anderson. Again, nothing I've heard of, either the, the book or the author for that matter, but interesting. Okay, and then we have an all, another Paul Anderson. This is The Shield of Time. That is a very unique looking uh, book cover. Looks science fiction-y, but there's also some woolly mammoths on it. Okay. Interesting. <laughs> okay, we have another Scott Adams. This is the Dilbert Principle. And there's, of course, a Dilbert right there. Doesn't have the dust cover or dust jacket, but... Yep. Cool. Okay, this is a little bit different. Okay, this is Lies Across America by James W. Lowen. Okay, interesting. Oh, here we have some more Terry Brooks. So there was a couple Terry Brooks books in the first box that we did. So here's another one. This is at least an author I've heard of from before. So yeah, interesting. Witch's Brew. And more Terry Brooks. Ah, oh, this is, of course, related to the Shannara, Shannara uh, series. I don't know how that's pronounced, if it's Shannara or Shannara. Let me know if you, uh, let me know in the comments below if you know how it's pronounced, because I'm not sure. And, of course, more Terry Brooks. Also related to the Shannara series. Shannara series. Sword of Truth. Or, wait, no, the, the Talisman of Shannara. Book four. Okay, so this is the fourth book in the series, I guess. Cool. And let's see. More Terry Brooks. Also related to the Shannara series. Cool. I wonder if I am going to end up with that whole series now. That'd be kind of neat. More Terry Brooks. Angel Fire East. Huh. Okay. That's an interesting title. Interesting... A uh, book cover there. It just looks like a winter time with, I don't know, a spear cracking through the ice to get to some, I don't know, what is that, radioactive waste below? <laughs> Interesting. Okay, more Terry Brooks, also related to Shannara series. I know it is a pretty large series, so I'm not sure if I would have every book in these two boxes, but I might have close to it. Then another Terry Brooks Shannara, um, Shannara series book. Cool. Okay, now we have some paperback books. Babylon 5. 
That's a television show, I think, from way back in the day. I'm assuming this book is probably related to that television show. Never seen it, but um, I did hear some pretty good things. Let's see. What is this? Board of the Rings? A parody of the Lord of the Rings? <laughs> huh. Interesting. Might check that out, see if it's funny. Another Babylon 5 related book. Cool. <sighs> Let's see. Another Fred Saberhagen, Saberhagen, The Berserker Wars. Oh, okay. Interesting looking. More Fred Saberhagen, The Ultimate Enemy. I need to learn how to pronounce this guy's last name. <laughs> And then more by that author, Brother Assassin. Interesting. All right, just a couple more books. Susan Cooper, The Dark is Rising. I feel like this is, sounds vaguely familiar. At least the author's name sounds, um, sounds familiar. Although maybe that's because there was a couple books in the, uh, the first box. Interesting. Berserker Man, also by Fred Saberhagen. Saberhagen. Cool. And just a couple more books. Again, Fred Saberhagen, Berserker's Planet. I'm going to assume all these Berserker-related books are part of a single series. And the final book. Pierre Barbet, The Napoleons of... Arid, Aridanus? Aridanus, I guess? Looks interesting. Cool. Okay, cool. So this is the entire collection from that second box we just went through. Again, not many authors I'm familiar with other than Terry Brooks and his Shannara or Shannara series. Um, of course, I've also heard of Scott Adams, mainly just from Dilbert. So I'm not sure what these couple of Dilbert books are. Um, I guess they're just related to the Dilbert comic book series. So check that out. Wasn't ever really a fan of Dilbert back in the day, but I might see if it's uh, worth looking at at least a little bit. But yeah, that is the entire collection from box number two. I'm going to combine this with the first box and then kind of see, you know, what series we have uh, complete of and then, you know, if there's any missing books of a series and then kind of organize them. One second. Okay, so this is the whole set of books from both of the boxes. Like I thought, it was filled with a lot of authors and a lot of series that I'm not familiar with. I have heard of Terry Brooks and his Shannara or Shannara series, but other than that, a lot of these authors I have not heard of or a series I've never heard of either. So if you have any recommendations on any books I should read, please let me know down in the comments below. I know my father-in-law keeps a lot of his favorite books at his house, such as his Isaac Asimov books that are actually written by Isaac Asimov. He actually keeps those books at his house, not in storage. So I kind of figured going into this that it would be filled with a lot of, you know, niche-related series that I wouldn't be familiar with. That being said, we do have a couple of Glenn Cook books, which is neat, and we have Temeraire, which I have heard is a very good book, and of course we have The Silmarillion by J.R.R. Tolkien. That is awesome. Then we have some David Eddings books, which I have heard of this author before, but I'm not familiar with his work at all. And we have some Thieves World related books, which that sounds like a pretty interesting series. Then we have Terry Brooks, which is probably the author I'm most familiar with, not that I've read any of his series before. And we have a huge selection of Isaac Asimov books that are not written by Isaac Asimov. But the second Foundation trilogy, that sounds like it could be a pretty interesting. And finally, we have a random assortment of authors and books that I'm not familiar with, but some of them might be pretty interesting, especially want to check out that Berserker series. But if you have any recommendations about things I should read or things that you've heard of, let me know down in the comments below. Otherwise, I'll probably be sending a lot of these books back to my father-in-law 
but you know definitely not all of the books this was a pretty sweet find but yeah let me know what you all think in the comments down below thanks for watching